Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial, this time an actually short tutorial because I think it's 15 minutes long and um, we're going to be making this cookie cat from Steven Universe which I'm really excited about and um, again, this is how I do things, there's probably better ways to, to make this but this is how I do it and yeah, let's have fun! Also at the end of the tutorial, there's an optional animation of the cookie that um, if you want to follow along, it's going to be really fun. But if not, just the render and it's going to be great. So yeah. We're starting off with a plane with a subdivision modifier just so we can model the shape, the basic shape. So I need it to be round and the little ears. So yeah, so basic. Um, modeling and loop cuts and modeling and loop cuts and yeah, that's basically it. This weird thing I'm doing is counting um, seven blocks on the grid um, from each loop cut so they are proportionally spaced but I don't know if there's a better way to do this, if there is someone that's Please, please let me know. I don't know if I'm just dumb and I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm actually not gonna keep this loop cut because you're gonna see me delete it um, in a few seconds. So yeah, don't you don't need to do this loop cut here in the middle. Now we're going to decide on the thickness of our cookie um, and feel free to do whatever size you like, chunkier, skinnier. Um, I like very chunky um, stuff so I'm doing it very, very, um, I'm extruding it way high just so it's like very thick. So yeah. Now the beauty of this tutorial is 
all the work is of modeling is basically done because you're just gonna have to like copy um, the cookie and then do the filling which is another copy of it so yeah you're all done Now we're gonna do, we're gonna carve out the eyes and I'm just gonna put two cylinders um, and I'm gonna use the boule tool to carve it out of the first cookie. Now we're going to position the cookie and set up the camera. Um, feel free to, to position it the way that you like, the way that you find interesting. For this tutorial I'm going to be using Eevee. You can use cycles but I thought Eevee just looked better with um, what I had in mind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using an environmental texture and you can use whatever environmental texture you want as long as it's outside and it has more like a soft light because we're also going to be adding a sunlight. Onto the materials, um, the cookie, um, if you've ever seen Steven Universe, the cookies like chocolate and I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna use a noise texture for this one and the filling, we're gonna divide it in two colors, um, a cream and a strawberry pinkish color.
We're gonna do the sparkles now. Um, it's just a regular plane, two loop cuts, um, scale them out, and then you're gonna get your sparkle. Now on to the reason I'm using UV in the first place, which is the bloom. Um, we're gonna check that. And you can do whatever color bloom you want. I'm doing pink, you can use blue, you can use white, you can use any other color. I think pink just looks really good. We're gonna um, decrease the threshold and it's gonna give us a really nice effect. Now up the contrast and you're done. That's it. You've done your cookie cat and we've reached the ending. If you want to stop here, well done. I am going to do, I'm going to animate it though, just like a small little loop. Um, great for beginners. It's going to be like 40 frames and on Eevee it's going to render super fast and yeah. You can rotate it in any position that you like, um, just make sure that the initial pose, like the one we just rendered, uh, you insert on keyframe 1 and 40, so it goes back to that position, and on the keyframe 20, um, just rotate it however you like and insert the keyframe there too. So now that's it. You've rendered the animation, you've made it, you've made it to the end. Um, uh, I hope this was fun for you. Um, this is the animation. I, I checked off Bloom just so you guys can have like a comparison of like Bloom, no Bloom. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked it and until next time.